Hey there spooky kids, it's Paranormal Hagrid here again. Today I have done a Motu haul from Big W. And for the first time in ages, Gawler actually got some new stock and they have the cartoon collection. And the first thing I found was Webster, who's a spider. I'm not gonna actually open him unless I can find another double. And then, I also found a variant of Evil Lynn that I don't have. Um, the one that I have has a different staff and she looks slightly different to this, but this is also the cartoon one. And you can see on the back of this, there's also Clawful and Spycore, which I checked in uh, Tea Tree Plaza today and they didn't have any of them. They just had the Evil Lynn, that was it. Um, Gawler has had Teela sitting there for months and months. No one's buying Teela. But I also found Orko from the other set, the Masters of the Universe set, which isn't the cartoon edition. And I got two of these. So I am going to open this one. And let's see what's inside. So as always, there's a little instruction set here. But I mean, he's an action figure, it's pretty obvious. But it does tell you about its movement. It's also a comic. <clears throat> so this is a comic with He-Man and two Orcos on the front. And on the back is Trapjaw, Zodak and Triclops, all of which I have. Now inside this little packet, here is this little base stand. I'm pretty sure Orko is the only one that has a base stand. And this has little moving pieces. So you can change how he stands on it. And I'll just put that down. And I'll drop that as well. And here is Orko. If I can get him out of the packaging. Now that's the little stand piece, and that goes that way, I think. There we go, it has to click in. And that piece clicks there, hopefully. There we go. Now we have Orko on a stand. And his hands move and his arms move. Oh, and his head. So there you have it, Orko, Masters of the Universe.